Hey guys, it's Kelly. I am a little bit late, but I'm finally bringing you my July favorites. I am so sorry that it's taken me so long to get this up. I just finished filming this look and it'll be up in the next day or so for you. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and take advantage of the makeup <laughs> and film my favorites video. I don't have many favorites for the month, but I did want to share with you the ones that I have. Okay. Um, First of all, before I forget, I was glued to Netflix this month. Every chance I got that I wasn't working on something else, I was glued to the show Stranger Things. There are eight episodes and it is wonderful. I really hope they keep going with the storyline. Um, I don't know if you've heard anything about Stranger Things, but I'm not one that really likes science fiction or um, I, I don't like horror at all. <laughs> um, but this this show is, it's not really scary, it's just suspenseful, it's full of suspense. And it does have that sci-fi element to it, but I really, really, really loved it. So um, yeah, I, I just, they left it kind of open, I think at the end, in, a, in my opinion, they left it open enough that they can they can continue and I hope that they do because it's so good. So that's my Netflix win for the month. Um, I've been enjoying Big Brother and all of the housewives and all those things on regular television. Absolutely loving those shows this month. Now, as far as beauty favorites are concerned, I have several. I did not bring my shampoo in here because it's it's wet. <laughs> this is this was the least wet of the two. But this is the Pantene Smooth and Sleek with Argon Oil. This is the conditioner. This is made, it says Smooth and Sleek. I have like these frizzies all the time. My hair is just frizzy, frizzy, frizzy. There's humidity everywhere. Do I have, what's the con? They, no, I don't. <laughs> I, when you see the other video and you see the struggle, you'll understand why I'm acting like a mutt right now. <laughs> but anyway, this is awesome. It it smells great. It's it's just got a real. It's sweet, but maybe a touch of fruit at the same time. It says touchably soft, visibly shiny, noticeably healthier um, hair, and it does not really. It just says it has argan oil and antioxidants in it. And, you know, I, I like all of the OGX brand argan oil um, bath and body products. And, in fact, I have a lot of those in an empty uh, that I need to film. Also, I'm way behind on that as well. But I've just found that not only do I love the smell of this, but it really does control a lot of the frizz in my hair. Now that I've had my hair done, every other time I wash it, I have to use my purple shampoo. But, you know, it's... um. It's working really good, and so it's been a very big favorite for me this month. Um, another favorite came in a Sephora um, VIB Rouge. I just spent some points. They had the Laura Mercier uh, little set, and this was the lip gloss that came in it, or at least I think it's just a lip gloss. It's called Tulip. It is so yummy, guys. Let me give you a little swatch. I love it. It's just a pretty gloss with plenty of pigment. See that? I've not really ever noticed a smell with it at all. I really have been loving this color for summer. So yeah, I, that that's a big one. Okay, so my next favorite um, is not going to be a surprise at all. <laughs> my Modern Renaissance palette has been a huge hit and favorite for me this month. I have not filmed very many tutorials with it. Um, I think two is all I've really done, but guys, this palette is just absolutely gorgeous. I love all of the colors. I never thought I would be a red girl, but these reds, they translate to the eye just beautifully. It's a nice warm palette. It is the best palette. I have not ever owned an ABH palette before, but um, from what everyone says, this is her best one yet. And even though I've never owned one, I can tell you it is a fabulous palette and I have been 
totally loving it this month. So that's definitely a favorite. Now this one's gonna be a little bit of a cheat because I've only used it a couple of times. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, you saw me use it a couple of nights ago, um, but I've been using it every night because it just feels so good. Um, it is the new uh, mask by L'Oreal. It is her Pure Clay. It says Argyle Pure. What it is, it's a pure clay mask and you just put an even layer over your face and it has charcoal, activated charcoal in it. And it is so wonderful. It does not have a strong smell. It has an odor, um, but it's not overly medicinal or flowery or anything like that. It's just a scent. And, um, you know, once it dries down a little bit, that smell goes away. And after about 10 or 15 minutes, you just um, wash it off your face. And I would suggest that you wash it off with cold water so that it closes your pores back and shrinks them back down to help prevent them from getting re-clogged. But this, was, this stuff, it, it works really well and I'm enjoying it. And I went ahead and purchased this flat foundation brush from um, EcoTools. And that's what I apply it with. It's really easy to rinse it out. It's a synthetic brush. It applies wonderfully. It's just the right size so that I can get around my hairline in tight spaces. And I just really love it. Okay, um, now this is a favorite that I think a lot of people have been um, showing, but I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd and of course, I had to go get this book. This is a total fave. I'm not going to give anything away, but I'm just going to say I loved it. Um, it is written like a script, like a, you know, like a play, but that didn't bother me at all. I've read many of those and this guys I love. I'm so, so excited to see JK Rowling, uh, picking up with Harry again. And, um, yeah, it's just really great. Okay. And then I have a major purchase um, favorite for the month. I had to, guys. I didn't want to, but I really had no choice. And I decided if I had to buy one, I was going to get one that would suit me and would serve all my needs. Guys, I purchased the MacBook Pro. I did it. I jumped in the pool. <laughs> I already have an iPhone, as you know, but um, I just needed, my computer crashed a couple of months ago and they had it over a week and they couldn't do anything with it. It was just destroyed. <laughs> so um, I bought a used one from them, the place that I go and have, um, you know, things like that taken care of. There's a place here in my town and I, I went there and um, when they told me there was no reviving it and I, that I would be lucky if I could get some of the hard drive off, like off my pictures, for example. <laughs> um, I told them just to get it off, you know, if they could and um, they let me use the money that I had paid them towards fixing my old computer that crashed towards a used computer and it was it's an HP but it's an older model and um, I'm not trying to be a sissy at all but it literally weighs a hundred pounds <laughs> it is so freaking heavy it's a 17 inch laptop and it's it's just it's this thick and it's so heavy that it literally hurt to lift it. My arm was starting to get sore. And my son had to use it for a couple of things and he even said something like, how do you lift this? So I, I needed to do something. Um, it started getting slow on me. Um, he told me that it wasn't gonna last me very long. And so I just thought, you know what? I've just gotta do it. I went and got this. It is the 13 inch MacBook Pro. I didn't go with the Air, I went with the Pro. And I did that for a number of reasons, but mostly just, you know, um, the specifications really kinda tell me which one to choose. And so this has been a really big, big favorites for me. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and finding out what my favorites were for the month of July. Hopefully I'll get my favorites for the month of August up in a couple of weeks when it's due. <laughs> I'm sorry that I was behind, but 
I do hope to get them up on time for you this coming month and I'll have brand new favorites because I already have a few right now that I know that I'm going to be sharing with you. So yes, I hope that you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because I would really appreciate that. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Um, I'm not real high tech here. I'm from Alabama and I'm just a mom and um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just me. I'm real. And so I would love for you to join my family. I have a great group of folks that are following me and I'm thankful for them every day. So yes, guys, if you would just kind of um, hit that little red subscribe button down there, I would really appreciate it. I will talk to you all later. Have a great evening. Bye.